I am the gardener at Gorby Farm. I'm making this little video to tell you a bit about um, our community garden space here. I'm Evelina Joy. I started at the farm about one year ago and I just fell in love with the garden. My name's Ollie and I started volunteering at Gorby Farm around February. It sort of fell into my routine, which was nice. My name's Simon. I'm 12 years old. I've been wanting to volunteer and, and I've just turned old enough and now I can't because it's shutting down. I've taught a few people at the school and they didn't like, they did know when it's shutting down. Um, Town Castle. I'm Frida and I'm part of Gorgie Farm Spinners. We are a group that promote traditional crafts and we sit at the farm and spin um, on a Friday morning showing the public of the traditional ways of producing garments and actually validating women's work. My name is Alex and I got involved with a farm about one and a half years ago when I started coming here with my daughter to the home ed sessions. My name is Yolanda. I volunteered here for a few years, I think just around the time of the first lockdown. The farm is such a vital place for the whole community to come here to be outdoors, uh, which is so crucial for both physical and mental health. It's a great way for everyone to get engaged with food growing, experience wildlife, and we've got so many diverse parts here in the garden, so everyone can take something out of it. It's the kind of community feeling you get. You come here, you meet volunteers, people from so many different backgrounds, but then it all feels like a really warm community, almost like a family. So that's part I enjoy most actually. Um, so my name is Archie. Um, I came to the farm a year ago. I think the farm should stay open because it's really special. It's, I think it's one of the best communities in Gorgie and Dole Rive. Um, I think it's a good space for people. I think people can relax there, but people can also just if they want to get work done, they can get work done. During lockdown, I helped grow crops and fruit. And at the time that went to the food bank, so all of the food was available for free. We just had a little community and it was really sweet. And I learned so much. The soil is, is really good. Like we've really worked to build up the soil. We've looked after the space for so many years now that it's, it's really fertile. It isn't something that you can just restart or rebuild. A lot of perennial crops here as well, so things that will keep coming up repeatedly and it would just be a shame if those things uh, wouldn't be able to be harvested anymore. I think the space has given so much to uh, the people involved with it. There's Smudge! Hi Smudge! Smudge is the, the handyman of the farm. He's been really helpful in building things here. The shed. Yes. He helped set up the shed. You made a, a cold frame for us. Yeah, Smudge always helps us repair things, like when the water isn't working, Smudge is here. No, I just I'll miss the work as well. really miss this place and think yeah. it should, should stay. Save our garden. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please help. Especially through the pandemic, I was here a lot. We were running an art club here as well for kids through, through lockdown when there wasn't much going on at schools and school clubs were closed. And I think that's something really special makes a big difference and gives the joy of doing art. I really love the natural guys. Well, I'm Kitty. Been attached to Gordon Farm in one way or another for a lot of years. Because <laughs> I'm quite old now. <laughs> My son <laughs> used to come. <laughs> and then my granddaughter. And then I got involved with the spinning group. I don't know what, and I don't know what I'll do. Yeah. Mm. I'm Sarah. Um, I came to Gorby Farm a year ago with my kids because it's such a good place to bring kids who have a lot of energy and it's cheap and they can get out into nature and then there were these there were these three wise women <laughs> sitting in a room <laughs> spinning and I was getting really interested in trying to find something else to do for myself because my kids are quite small and I work and it's like everything is you know busy and uh, and they were spinning <laughs> it was Kitty and Frida and Sheila and I said, this looks amazing. I think it's really important to have a space that you don't have to kind of spend loads of money to go to, that you can meet other people in, and that you can spend time kind of doing something interesting and kind of being connected to the land. And there's not many spaces like that. It's not just the spinning side of it. It's all the interaction. As a spinner, of course, I've been interested in the garden part of the farm where they've grown quite a number of dye materials that we use at wool. So we've looked at some of the some of the traditional ways of producing colours like blue. 
Why? Dinos seem to like it here. People seem to like it here. So I've learned about community and friendship, but I've also learned about planting what type of plants there are and planting things and how to make food and all kinds of stuff. I've met really nice people here and learned a lot. People have shared a lot of knowledge. It's also a place where people meet each other. Yeah, it's a really important part of the community in this area. Families from all sorts of backgrounds have benefited from, from the farm and it's been around for over 40 years. The world is losing spaces like this. We need the bees. It really has changed my life. I know that sounds a bit kind of... But yeah, it's just lovely, really lovely. Gorgie needs green space. There's not a lot of green space around, and especially not green space as biodiverse as this farm. I've got a lot of very nice memories from there. Uh, just especially like building things, being with Smudge, taking things apart, him taking the mick out of me. If we're not able to come here, I'll miss it a lot. I really would miss the farm if it closed. I would be really sad.